I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Hello, my friends, it's Connor, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, the intro of this video is going to be a little bit confusing because we're going to go back in time and then we're going to go back. To normal time. Also, no, the camera's not overexposed. I just don't have any tan on, so we're looking very, very fair in this video, but that's okay. So I'm gonna be bringing you through my nighttime routine. I did film this video yesterday, last night. However, I lost a lot of the footage. So the next few clips you're gonna see are from the beginning of yesterday, and then we're gonna switch to being tonight, which essentially is the same because I mostly do the same thing every single night. Also, I just wanna say a quick thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. I've mentioned a few times on my channel that I love to sleep on a silk pillowcase because it's really, really good for your skin and your hair. And I also have some silk PJs that I will be sharing with you guys. I'm super excited. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard people say like, oh, you should sleep on silk pillows, silk pillowcases, silk pillowcases, that. And the reason being is because silk is naturally a hypoallergenic material. So particularly for the pillowcases, if you find that you suffer from a lot of cheek breakouts, your pillowcase could actually be a big factor in why that's happening. Because obviously your pillowcase, especially if you don't wash it a lot, kind of grabs onto all the germs and all the bacteria from your face every single night. So making a switch to a silk pillowcase can definitely help. I've been doing it for maybe like a couple years or so and it's the best thing ever. I love it. It's so good for your hair because the surface is so smooth. It helps cause less like breakage and split ends and it just feels really nice. Like there's nothing better than going to sleep on a silk pillowcase. Chef's kiss. As well for your skin because it's so smooth it's not going to cause your skin to kind of like crease and cause wrinkles which is nice so this is the pj set that i have from lily silk it's in the long version they have so many different types i do have a discount code i'll pop it on the screen now if you are interested i'll show you their silk pillowcases in a second but i like them because the pillowcases are quite inexpensive which is nice and you just feel real bougie like you just feel like that you know i have mine in a size medium and they fit me perfectly super comfortable to sleep in so soft and lovely oh they're so beautiful um so these are the pillowcases here i have mine in like so it's almost like a, it's like a taupe color. That's how I would describe it. It's very much a taupe. I didn't want to get pink just because I didn't want it to be like pink bed sheets, pink pillows. So I got kind of this taupe shade. Oh, they're just so nice to sleep. So soft, so gorgeous. And these ones have a zipper as well, which is really nice. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, thank you Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of the video. Everything will be listed in the description box as always. Do I have sriracha on my face? I've just eaten my dinner. I hope not. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go back in time. Good evening, guys. I hope I'm not too overexposed. But I just actually got back from buying a car. Fun fact, I don't know if you will see this video before my weekly vlog comes out where I actually have the car. I don't have it yet as I'm sitting here today. I just put the deposit down. So I'm gonna pick it up on Monday. I'm just doing some computer work. So I just need to send off a contract. I'm just writing some dates down on my calendar so I know what I'm doing. Tomorrow is Friday, so I'm just getting everything ready. Um, I've got a couple appointments next week, but yeah, I should be picking up my car on Monday, which will be super exciting. But I generally try and stop working as best I can at like, you know, a reasonable time, like six o'clock or something. But because I do work on social media, I'm, I kind of you never stop working. Even just like replying to comments and stuff, like I'm just always doing something to do with my job, um, which I don't mind at all. I absolutely love what I do. I just turned off that light. I don't know if, ooh, this is a bit of mood lighting, but I'm just going to, I finished signing off those documents. Sometimes I get so stressed just by like the prospect of having things in my calendar, even though it shouldn't stress me out, but it just does. I'm going to close my windows and log out of my computer. And I'm gonna go into my room now. I've got my beautiful Lily Silk pajamas laid out. I've been wearing these lately and they are so, so beautiful. 
Alrighty, so if you've seen any of my what I eat in a days, I've been having the same thing for dinner most nights for the past couple months, which is some fish and veggies basically. And my dad is kind enough to cook that for me. So we first have some carrot softening in some boiling water for about 15 minutes or so. And then I like to have broccoli and cauliflower. Those are my two favorite veggies. And then we have some cod. My dad just sprinkles some like salt and pepper on there. And I think he also puts chili flakes, but you can literally put whatever you your little heart desires. Then we start boiling the broccoli and the cauliflower. And then for the fish, he cooks it in a little bit of olive oil and he does it for three minutes each side. And I think that's like the perfect amount of time. It's not too dry, it's just beautifully moist. Sorry for those of you who hate that word. But if you didn't already know, fish is really, really good for you, especially for your hair and your skin, particularly salmon. Um, I, I used to be obsessed with salmon, but my favorite fish of the moment is, yeah, cod. So my dad will just drain the carrots and then he uses this little stick blender thing to just mash it all together. And I think he puts garlic in there as well. It just tastes really, really nice. It's probably a good alternative to regular mashed potato as well. So he's just serving it up for me. And then he'll add just the vegetables. I mean, this is really simple. I feel like I don't need to explain it, but yeah. And then we put the fish down and bada bing, bada boom. That's it, ladies and gents. Delicious. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry if you can hear the oven in the background, but this is what I'm having for dinner. Carrot mash, the broccoli and cauliflower, and then the cod. So, so yum. And this is so weird to be like vlogging on my big camera. Like I've literally got my laptop here next to me by the way our kitchen looks super ugly right now because we're in the process of kind of remodeling it i'm eating quite early today definitely prefer to eat earlier in the night because then i feel a lot less bloated when i wake up in the morning I have no idea what that is. Just ignore that. I'm sure it's just water or something. Okay, and then for dessert, I always have my jelly light with a little bit of Greek yogurt. I just pop a little dollop in and then I always add some sugar-free maple syrup. This is me trying to get the camera to focus. And it is so yummy. Weird combination. Ooh, comment down below. What are your favorite like weird food combinations? I'd love to know. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've had my dinner, I'm going to have my shower. I'm going to wash my hair tonight. I'm not going to tan though because I do have a laser hair removal appointment next week and it's just so much easier if I just wait to tan because then I'm not going to be rushing to get it off. Hello guys, welcome to my shower. Okay, so I actually ran out of my makeup remover literally yesterday. So before I'm from the shower, I'm just going to quickly wipe off my makeup. I'm going to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Wipes and then I'm going to go in and do a double cleanse with my cleanser just to make sure everything's gone. Start by taking off my lipstick. These are definitely my favorite makeup wipes. Makeup wipes are definitely not the best option for when it comes to removing makeup. I normally like to use the Neutrogena Cleansing Oil, but silly me, forgot. Okay. Oh, so close. I am gonna wash my hair today. I'm gonna take my hair out. Okay, that looks really cute. I'm gonna go in with my Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. And I'm gonna do this twice. I like this or the TBH Skincare Face Wash or the Dermalogica Clear Start Face Wash. I like to switch out my face washes. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's too cold. Okay. I'm gonna go in with my Function of Beauty Shampoo. Make sure I get in on the scalp and get off all that dirt and oil and dry shampoo. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with my Function of Beauty conditioner. I only put it on the ends of my hair. I'm going to use the Hideaway Black Sugar Body Wash. It smells so delicious. It smells like black opium. 
mean, I don't really need to exfoliate anything off because my tan's pretty much all gone. And I shaved yesterday because I filmed this video yesterday, so I'm just going to leave that. Then to exfoliate, I'm going to use my Dermalogica Micro Daily Foliant. I either use this or the um, Flash Foliant, but today I'm going to use this. This really helped with my acne scarring. So I'm gonna pop on a robe right now if I can grab it. So pop on my robe. <sighs> Love left. And then I like to use my a t-shirt to wrap my hair. Okay, and then for my skincare, I'm gonna keep it really simple tonight. Sometimes I do that. Some nights I will do the absolute most and do like every single serum. And then other nights it'll be super simple like this. So I'm gonna use the Dermalogica Clear Start all over toner. So I did get some breakouts on my chin here the other day. They're slowly going away. And then I'm just gonna use this Dr. Jart Calming Gel Cream. It's a really nice like gel texture. Sometimes less is more with skincare, honestly. So pop that on all over. And then to moisturize my body, I'm gonna use the Hideaway Vanilla Caramel. This is a brand new tub. I went through an entire thing of this. Oh, so freaking yum. It's just so moisturizing, smells so good. Just gonna clip up my hair for the moment, just so I don't look absolutely ridiculous i'm the type of person when it comes to my night routine i like to get everything ready i like to get everything out of the way so i'll eat my dinner i'll put my pajamas on wash my hair have a shower do whatever get all my pillows off my bed ready to go so i can kind of just chill out before i go to sleep the time is 6 p.m <laughs> Probably gonna go upstairs and chill with my family. And I'm gonna watch some prison break. My mum and I might watch a movie together. And then I'll come back to you guys and show you kind of what I do when it comes to like winding down. I have some like special sprays that I like to help me go to sleep. I do need to take care of my hair actually. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'll let it dry a little bit more before I put in any more serums. But I'm just gonna take all of my like big display pillows off. Just so we're ready to go when it comes time for bed. Ooh. Ah. Bye-bye. It's now 8.58 and I've just had my hair kind of up in a clip. So it's kind of air dried a little bit, but it's still damp. But I feel like I want to do that like rope braid thing. I just don't know whether I'll be very good at it. I feel like I need to watch a tutorial on how to do it. I'm going to just split my hair. I'm going to put some of this Miracle Spray hair treatment by Eleven Australia. Just like a leave-in product. Okay, I'm just going to quickly watch a tutorial on how to do this. Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it. So, and I don't know if having wet hair is gonna help me or n make it not work because it won't dry. And then I guess I just, I feel like I should use like a scrunchie maybe. Okay, I've got one side in kind of. I don't know if that's like too loose. I guess we're gonna find out tomorrow. So I'm gonna do the other side, over the robe, under the robe up more hair it's essentially like doing a french braid i used to wear my hair in braids all the time when i had really long hair it's just such an easy hairstyle to do that was my go-to hairstyle in school with two braids this side is a lot tighter so i might redo the other side okay so this is the hair all complete Okay, so now it's about 9, 12. So I'm gonna hop into bed now, but I'm not gonna probably go to sleep until about 10.30 because I'll probably watch Netflix. I'm watching Prison Break at the moment. I'm obsessed with Prison Break. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by lighting this candle that I have. It smells so, so nice. And I feel like 
candles just do so much for like creating ambiance and everything. So I'm just going to pop that one there. Okay, and then as you can see, I have my salt lamp back there, which I love using that as my source of lighting. I've got my chandelier still on because I'm filming. I personally love having really dim, kind of like an ambiance vibe in my room. I feel like it's so calming and helps me go to sleep. But lately I've been trying this sleep pillow mist, which helps you kind of relax. It's basically a bunch of like essential oils. So it's got lavender, jasmine, chamomile, like it's got a bunch of things. So I'm just gonna spray that on my pillow just kind of like all around so relaxing and i feel like it really actually does help i also have this which is called quiet mind temple balm it says soothing pulse point gel so basically what i do with this is i squirt a little bit onto my hand and you're meant to rub it into your temples and your earlobes i've got earrings on though it's very very intense i can't pinpoint what that scent is though but and then i'm gonna pop on some lip balm I also brushed my teeth, but I forgot to record that. And then once I'm about to go to sleep, after I finish watching Netflix or something, I like to listen to ASMR. I find that helps so much with making me fall asleep. And then after I watch ASMR, when I'm literally about to fall asleep, I use this app that's called Rain Rain. And it's just rain noises. This is what it sounds like. I love it. I've been listening to that probably close to a year now. Like every single night without fail, I have to have that on. It just relaxes me so much. I am ready to go to sleep now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That completes my nighttime routine. It's pretty much the same most evenings. Of course, it doesn't always happen this way, but most of the time, have my shower, have my dinner, and just kind of chill out as best I can. But thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring some of this video. And as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I shall see you in my next one. Bye. I'm so tired. Oh my God. Ugh.